All right, this is Chris coming back at you. So today is kind of interesting. They're not not necessarily wanting to bite the gulp shrimp I'm throwing at them, but they're biting the dead shrimp that I'm throwing out there. And obviously you can see here I have a, another would-be undersized flounder. So we're just gonna get a measurement on him just for kicks. But um, I know he's not gonna make it. All right, we are coming in right at 13 inches or less. All right, popping back in here with you. And you can see here we have another undersized speckled trout. And um, I guess some days, some days there's just nothing like the real thing. So um, I got some pretty fresh shrimp from the bait shop today. And uh, like I said, they weren't really going for my gulp. So I put basically a shrimp on my jig head and started popping that through. And lo and behold, speckled trout. Um, again, not a keeper, but um, we got them on our hook. So uh, just a little tip for me to you, maybe something to try. Uh, gulp shrimp is designed to smell like shrimp. So if you don't want to buy the live ones, because you know they are kind of expensive, if you can get some really fresh ones, you might try jigging those. All right, keep watching. All right, welcome back. I am standing in the middle of the water. And uh, so I'm crazy to actually have my phone out, but I'm doing it for the shot, doing it for you guys. I'm waiting, got my waders on. You can see I have a flounder here. He's undersized, isn't gonna make it, but um, I did want you to see that the molting gulp shrimp is still doing its thing. This one looks like he's about uh, 10 inches. I had one just a moment ago that was gonna be close to measure, but being out in the middle of the water like I am, um, <laughs> I was trying to pick him up and he got off. But um, having fun right here, standing in the middle of the water. But uh, keep watching. All right, well, you can see I'm still at it. The sun is setting. But uh, I'm trying it out. So we got us a blue molting action. So it's a little bit after five. And uh, we're about to shut it down, but uh, I think I'm gonna cast a couple more times. All right, keep watching. All right, then popping back in for some more blue action. You see a nice blue. Uh, they hadn't been biting. Now here it is almost dark. Sun setting and they starting to bite. So uh, you can never tell. Sometimes you just gotta keep casting and tell you, I've been casting a day. <laughs> been throwing this gulp I've been throwing this gulp like a crazy man so it's paying off a little bit here all right keep watching all right I'm gonna close you out with a beautiful sunset as always thank you for being here on OD5 I know you could be anywhere on YouTube so I am so very glad that you are here with me today and um, today I finished up with I want to say three puffer fish and five bluefish. You just saw the last few caught here, right at sunset, and it's been a great day. So I hope you are enjoying your day. Hope you have enjoyed your Thanksgiving break. And um, as always, be kind to the fish.